Hey guys, Dylan here. So today I'm gonna to be taking you all through Romanian deadlifts, otherwise known as RDLs. Um, they can be quite a bit of a tricky exercise to get your head around, especially to do them correctly. Um, I'm a big believer in um, sort of quality over quantity. So meaning that, you know, wanna get your form right to begin with. And if you can build that sort of strong base and foundation, that'll allow you to progress well um, as you start to increase the weight on the bar. So I'm gonna first take you all through sort of your setup, your positioning, where you want to be, um, and then take you through a few sort of progressions as we sort of, you know, uh, learn learn the movement and ways in which you can sort of progress it all out until using the bar, all right? So first off, we're gonna talk about setup. So pretty much when you're um, getting ready to do an RDL, feet wanna be sort of, you know, shoulder width apart, feet are facing forwards, all right? We wanna sort of slight bend in our knees, might turn for you to see that, okay? And then what we want to focus on, and this is obviously, you know, everyone's a bit different, everyone's got their little sort of, you know, own sort of routine and setup. So what I do is take a big breath in, I try and roll the balloon up within my stomach, I trap that area. So then I squeeze my core. And at the same time, I tuck that butt, all right? So squeezing glutes, squeezing core. So I'm in a nice neutral position, all right? And then holding that knee bend. All right, and then all we're gonna do is hinge from the hips. So I don't, you don't wanna sort of punch forward. You wanna keep that back nice and straight, all right? So in that position, you're gonna push the butt back. At the same time, you wanna try and lift those hips nice and tall to the ceiling, keeping that back nice and straight. We don't wanna arch it, don't wanna round so nice. And that's where that core comes in and obviously holding that breath, nice and tall through that position and then standing up, squeezing core and glutes at the top. All right, so do one more time. So slight knee bend, breathe in, set, and then down, and then standing back up. All right, cool. What we're gonna do, we're gonna come over to the pole with the band. Okay, so the first progression is, we're simply gonna straddle the band like so, we're gonna hold the band in between our legs. We're gonna go through that same setup that we just spoke about, slight knee bend, tuck, and then you're gonna hinge forward, butt goes back, keep the hips nice and tall to the ceiling, down, trying to, and you wanna really fill those hamstrings, all right? So you should really feel the pull through the hamstrings. From there, we wanna stand up, squeeze glutes and core, pull that band through our legs, all right? Do one more, reset, down, and stand up, all right, cool. Making sure that we've got weight evenly through our feet, so not sort of going onto our toes, not onto our heels too much, nice and even, all right, and then pushing up as we come back up out of that bottom position. The next progression, um, you can use a bit of downwood, uh, you can use broomstick, any sort of, you know, light, light stick's gonna be fine, so whatever you've got around the house or in the gym, okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed that through our loop and try and you know, roughly find the middle with it, okay? And what we're gonna use this for is for helping with our lat activation. So as you can say, see, as I sort of come away from the pole, the band wants to pull my arm forward, right? So what I need to then do is pull that bar towards me and activate my lats, all right? Another little trick is your two, your, your ring and your pinky fingers, you want to drive them into the bar. So what that's going to do, so as you pull and then drive those fingers in, you're going to turn the folds of your elbows out and that's just going to help with those, with that back activation, all right? So same thing now in this position, bar close to your legs, bend the knees, set up, you're going to go down, keep those hips nice and tall, all right? Feel the pull. I've got that bar against my legs, all right? So this time when we stand up, Stand up and keep that bar against your legs, all right? So we don't want it to come out. So we don't want to come down into this bottom position and then let the bar swing away from us as we come up. So keep those back muscles activated all the way through the movement, all right? One more. Down, nice and tall, stand up, squeeze. All right, perfect. As I said, these will take a little bit of getting used to. It's always handy 
uh, to film yourself and review that footage just to see if you are doing it correctly. Um, and then obviously sort of referring back to this video or if you're working with a, um, a coach or something like that, definitely listening to their instructions and getting them to critique you as you go. Um, it's definitely something that helped me when I was learning this movement, you know, always tweaking little things here or there. Um, so that's something that you should definitely try to do as you're sort of going through this learning process, all right? So now we'll progress to the bar. Um, when you're sort of going from like the band and the, and the stick up to the bar, the first thing obviously is going to be the weight. Um, so it's always good just to start with the bar itself. So if that's a 20 kilo barbell, that's fine. Um, straight away, you'll sort of you'll notice the difference because because of the weight you're having to hold through that movement. And so that's where that activation and turning turning those fingers into the bar to help with activating your lats. That's where that's really going to come in handy. All right. So. Take your time with it, take it really slow, make sure you still maintain that really good form that you've developed through the, uh, the previous two uh, variations and then transition that into doing it with the bar, all right? So, pick the bar up in our position, all right? Feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward. We're gonna slight bend. We're gonna turn those elbows forward, all right? Squeeze, drive those outside two fingers into the bar. I'm gonna breathe in, I'm gonna activate, I'm gonna go down, hips go back, nice and tall, there, feel it, keep squeezing those fingers in, activate your back, stand up, all right? Reset. There. So that's how you do an RDL. There are obviously further progressions to that. So that's when you can sort of get into single leg RDLs, you can do split stance RDLs, obviously for more sort of unilateral work, um, but that's definitely a good starting point. And if you're able to perform an RDL well, it, it will go a long way um, in helping you with all your sort of primary lifts, okay? So if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, always come into the clinic. Uh, feel free to ask myself or one of the other osteos uh, for advice. And if you are working um, with another coach or a personal trainer, definitely uh, ask them for a hand. And as I said, always film yourself, critique it, get them to look at it for you, and always just keep working on it because it is a movement that can be a bit tricky, but hopefully uh, this has helped you out with a few little tips and tricks. All right, cheers guys, thanks.